I don't care if Monday is blue, Tuesday is gray and Wednesday too. Thursday, I don't care about you, it's Bike Friday, I'm in love. <laughs> Guys, I've been singing that song all day. Yeah, I got a, uh, a message that my package was delivered. And it was from Bike Friday, Green Gear Cycling. It looks like the wind is not with me today. It's a heavy headwind, but we're gonna pedal as hard as we can and we're gonna get home and we're gonna do an unboxing of this new Bike Friday bike. I'm excited. Like, we got you, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, looky there. Guys, that wind was killer. <laughs> I checked the uh, weather app. It said it was like 20, 20 mile an hour wind, headwind. Oh. oh man. All right, Mr. Zizzo, we're gonna stick you in the bicycle nook so we can have some room to take a look at this new bicycle. I'm really anxious to open this box. So let's open it. Not sure whether it's bad karma to open a bike Friday on a Thursday, but what are you gonna do? Okay guys, I know I'm a sweaty mess, but I really can't be bothered to go in the bathroom and doll myself up right now. And in all honesty, would it really make a difference? We're gonna open this thing and we're gonna take a look at this thing because I'm really anxious and I can't wait. So let's do it. I gotta honestly say that Bike Friday's packing is superb. I mean, there's a lot of padding in here. And that's pretty cool because that means your bike's gonna arrive undamaged. And let's just face it, some UPS drivers might not be the easiest on packages. HDS, sir, and how are you this afternoon? All righty then. I have a package for you. Sounds broken. Most likely, sir. I'll bet it was something nice, though. Look at that, like completely bubble wrapped all the way around it. I mean, superb packing, I gotta honestly say. They protect every aspect of this bike.
I put this stuff on in there, don't I? <laughs> Look at that. It's like every part of this bike is bubble wrapped. <laughs> Okay guys, this is the bike fully put together. I also took some time to put my light mounts on it and my Garmin mounts and a couple little accessories on it, but this is the bike fully completed. This is the Bike Friday Dalai Lama. Dalai Lama. It's the Diamond Lama. I don't know why I said Dalai Lama. It's Diamond Lama. Anyways, this is it. Let's take a closer look. Isn't this thing cool guys? One thing that I love about this bike, it's made of steel. I love steel. The only bikes that I have are my Bike Fridays and my Bromptons that are made of steel. Everything else is aluminum and I don't really like aluminum. I love steel. This, my friends, is a fully loaded adventure bike. We have a few accessories that we still need to get for this bicycle and I've got some time because the summer riding season is not here yet. I definitely got to spend some time and get this bike all lined out, get it exactly the way I want it for the summer touring season. Yeah, this is a fully loaded adventure bike. The, do the, di Dolly. the Diamond Llama is a bicycle that you can take off road, you can take on trails. This thing is steel. It's got a down tube here for extra structural strength. One of the things that I love about Bike Friday bikes is the fact that they do not have a folding mechanism in the center of the frame like a lot of the half folders do. Even the Brompton has a folding mechanism in the middle of the frame. This bike has its folding mechanism right here. And basically you undo this latch and the seat will fold and then the actual bike itself will fold. Now the coolest thing is, is once this comes together, you clamp it. Ugh. It doesn't matter if you weld this or you bolt it or you have a clamp like this. This actually makes a solid connection point, which I am really, really impressed with. The pivot part right here looks very solid. The same thing with the one down here. The coolest thing is that the steer tube is really thick, really, really robust, and it does not fold. That is something that I am really, really happy about. Basically, you undo the latch, you push in this little thing here, and that comes off. This is a solid connection right here. It slides over this sleeve right here and it locks right into place. So this makes this a solid connection point. So you don't have to worry about some folding mechanism that will eventually wear out or get loose because you're riding down some heavy duty trails and not even a heavy duty trail, just a medium duty trail or some bumpy pothole ridden roads and you're constantly putting pressure on the handlebars, you don't have to worry about a folding mechanism wearing out. This is a solid connection point. So the fact that the seat tube, the rear triangle, and the frame all clamp together really tightly, and the fact that this does not fold, the steer tube doesn't fold, and the fact that it clamps together, this is as close to a solid frame bicycle that you can get, and it's a folder. I mean, how neat is that? You don't have some folding mechanism in the middle of the frame that's eventually going to wear out after, you know, some kind of hard or, or decently hard riding. You don't have to worry about that on the Bike Friday. 
I love the red color scheme. I, I went for red this time instead of black because, you know, when I'm out there, whether I'm touring on the road or whether I'm touring on the trails, I want to be seen. I want the bike to be seen. So I went ahead and went with red. The tires are these Schwalbe Road Cruisers. Now, I've never heard of these tires before. Eventually, we're gonna just swap them out. I might just try to wear these out. These are 20 by 1.75. Now, look at this. 20 by 1.75 and look at the clearance. You still have plenty of room to put a much bigger tire on this bicycle. The same with the rear triangle. You have all of this room, all of this room to actually put wider tires. Maybe some knobbies for the trails. I don't know. I'm gonna probably carry some knobbies and just roll regular road tires on it. Not sure. This thing has got Tektro levers but it's got some brand I've never heard of called Zoom, but they're mechanical disc brakes. So they're not hydraulic, which is really nice. And also when you're on the trails and let's say it gets a little wet, you don't have to worry about having rim brakes that are not gonna stop as good. So having disc brakes is a welcome, welcome thing on an adventure bike. I went with the standard component set on this bicycle. I didn't go with any upgraded components for the most part because I knew I was probably going to eventually change out some components, you know, like the uh, rear derailleur and the front chain ring were things I'm probably going to change out eventually. So I just went with the, what the bike comes with standard. The only thing I upgraded was the rims. I went to Rhino Light double walled rims. Look how thick these things are. The bike comes standard with, um, I think, single walled rims, but I love the Rhino Light rims because they are strong and they stay true a lot longer. And also it comes with lots of spokes, front and rear, tons of spokes, which means that these wheels are strong, really, really beefy. I've never heard of this seat before. I knew I'd probably eventually probably change out the seat anyway, but it supposedly has this foamy pad padding on the bottom. I don't know. I've never seen a seat like this before. We'll try it out and see if it works. Who knows? Maybe it'll be good. I love the swept back handlebars. The handlebars sweep back a little bit. I love that. You know, I thought I was going to end up changing out the handlebars, but looking at these, I actually like the grips, I like the handlebars, I like everything. So I might just leave this bike the way it is. It also has a regular stem, just like any other bicycle. You could change out the stems if you want to, if you want to get something a little longer, a little shorter. Most of my folding bikes actually have the handlebars mount directly in line with the steering stem. None of my folding bikes besides the Turn Verge have a frontward projection. So that's really nice that this projects forward and that it has like a standard size stem on it. That's awesome. The chain ring is a 53 tooth. It does look like it has plenty of gears. I went ahead and went with a one by system on this bike. You could get the two by. Um, I didn't want the two by. I wanted just a regular one by. With a front derailleur, it's just less problems you have to worry about. But it, this is a nine speed bicycle. So it definitely has a pretty good low gear and it has a pretty good high gear. The low gear is at 34 and then the high gear is an 11. So it's an 11 to 34 cassette and then a 53 tooth chain ring on the front. It has a micro shift derailleur on it. And you know what, guys? We might just leave this the way it is. I might not even change anything on this until everything wears out. Until the cassette wears out, I'll probably will leave that cassette on here. Until the front chain ring wears out, I'll probably leave the front chain ring on here because all this stuff is okay. I might put some better pedals on it, though. I think I went with the cheapy pedals just because I knew I was going to change those out anyway. The cranks are light pro but they're cranks, okay? <laughs> I'm not really concerned what brand cranks I've got. I like the fact that the chain ring comes with an integrated guard on it. So that'll keep the chain from derailing, which is really, really nice. You have your standard size seat post, which means you can put lighting, you know, your mounts for your lights on it. You don't have to worry about, oh, I can't put my mounts on and you gotta use those rubber band things that always break. Yeah, regular mounts on it. This handlebar will actually go up much higher than this. Yeah, I think it goes up to about right here, which is really nice. 
Um, same thing with the seat, it goes up higher. This is a 60 cm frame for a folding bike because all these bikes are custom made. They're custom sized to you. You know, the stem length, everything is all custom sized. You know, you give them your measurements when you order this bicycle and they will make the bike to fit you. It definitely has the mountings for a front rack and fenders, rear rack and fenders, which we're probably gonna get a rear rack and a front rack too. I'm wanting to go with a platform rack, so I'm kind of going to see what there is out there that'll fit this bike. Hopefully I can find something that's a platform so I can put my sleeping bag and stuff on the front of this bike. So we're definitely gonna outfit it with some racks. It definitely has water bottle mountings here, here, and on the back here. This right here is a, a strap for when you have the bike folded. You can just keep everything together without it falling apart. All in all, guys, I'm very, very happy with this bike. I'm very, very pleased with the way it turned out. Being that this is a really strong bike and Bike Friday builds bikes for expeditions, they build bikes for long distance touring, cross continental touring. So these bikes are robust and they will handle everything that you will throw at them. So I can fully load this bike down and I can head for the trails. And that's what I want to do because ever since I got here to Colorado, I haven't got to do a lot of off-road type of riding because as you guys know, I got rid of all my full-size bikes and I went strictly to folding bikes. There's a lot of limitations when it comes to the folding bikes because you really just don't have folding bikes that are really good off-road. This bike will be good for the trails, but it'll also be good for on the road riding. So you get the best of both worlds. You have a really strong frame that'll last a lifetime if you take care of it. So I'm really anxious to get this bike out and see what it can do. I'm really anxious to test ride it tomorrow, which I'm gonna test ride it tomorrow and let you guys know exactly how, how it handles and uh, get an idea about the shifting and the braking and everything and make sure that everything is still in adjustment or any kind of tweaks that I have to do. I wanna go ahead and get all those lined out tomorrow. So anyway, I'm going to bed. I will see you guys tomorrow.